November 1st. I'm headed out to mow one of my food plots. I got the zero turn. Improvise, adapt, overcome. We had a 24 degree freeze last night, so uh, brassicas might be done. Look at this stuff. There's a group of hens. Well, they just took off, but look who's still here. Hey, get. Go on, girl. Silly girl. Well, that didn't take long. Boy, I had it in there about 20 minutes. It took me to finally rock it back and forth like the old snow days. See if we can avoid that wet spot. Okay, I decided to quit pushing my luck, but I got probably more than half of it mowed. Quite a few wet spots from all the rain. But what this is gonna do, first of all, the brassicas are so small that the blade didn't really hit any of them. And if our growing season is not done, which it sure might not be, this 25 degree might just be a trick. We got a lot of warm weather coming yet. But even if the brassicas are done, the rest of this is gonna grow. So half of this is weed grass from the drought. But the thing is, is it's mixed in with the wheat. So like all the weed grass, and, and wheat is basically just the grass. When it gets stalks like this and like this, that they don't like that. So by mowing it, even just the weed grass, they're gonna start eating again. Cause this is what they like. They like the sweet tender shoots coming up. That's why once a food plot is eaten down like all of mine are, they'll probably never grow now anymore as far as, I mean, they'll keep growing, but the deer will keep eating them. Cause it self perpetuates the sweet shoots that they like, the fresh shoots. So, I'm hoping I revive this plot here. I think I did, I think they'll be back in here a lot more. And look at this one while we're here. This one is coming up nicely, oh, really nice. So, and you see this looks like a golf course. That's only because they're eating it now. And they will keep them all mowed down now, but they'll keep food all winter. Beautiful. This is a little bit of progress. Okay, this plot here we planted like a few days after that one I just mowed. So I just mowed like just two strips in the middle for whatever reason they were high there, but they've got this one eaten down pretty good. So this is all, you see it just looks like grass, uh, but that's all that four grain mix that Curtis hooked me up with. Wheat, rye, tritical, and oats. So you see this plot is looking very, very good. The more it thickens up here, the better it's gonna get throughout the fall. So fall is redemption time. You can get your butt kicked in the spring and the summer, but fall, you can redeem yourself with food plots. All right, I have to look at this triangle plot now because that one should be up good as well. So let's take a little walk. Wow, these are definitely my biggest green plots ever. I was substituting for corn and beans, so, uh, man, I'm thinking I might be running to the hardware store to build another tower. Because uh, this is a big, you know, I mean, it's probably at least a couple acres, if not more. I might need another tower blind to hurry up and get in place. Okay, triangle plot, not looking too bad. I thought it would be thicker by now because this was, I think, the very, very last one. Yeah, this was the very last one except for a little overflow one that I did. But you could see the green in there. I mean, so they're obviously in here eating it, keeping it down. But this all should thicken up too, hopefully, throughout the fall. Let's go trim a couple stands. Yeah, I forgot. I've already got a stand in this big cedar which is perfect for both of these plots. It's just you gotta have a really good wind, a really straight north wind. Let's go get the pole saw and clean that up. I haven't sat in that for at least two years, but that'll be perfect for uh, covering this whole long edge 
And I got a surprise announcement that it'll be perfect for. I got a new crossbow coming. You're not going to believe it. You know, I bought that one last year, that, that bear, and I just didn't like it. It just wasn't that. I mean, if you want to just get into crossbows and shoot 30 yards, that you could do that all day long. However, I want more than that. So I decided to dig deep and buy some quality. I got yeah, I'm uh, thinking I need a new tower blind. Tuck it right up in these trees. It'll be fantastic uh, to cover this top end of this plot with the bow. And of course, when I get the new Raven, you're going to be able to reach out and touch someone. Dang it, CJ, why can't you live closer, man? I need some help. All right, and now on to the big news of the day. Um, if you remember, last year I did get a crossbow for the first time. I got this uh, Bear Carnage, and it was priced at like 220 bucks. Um, and if you just want to get into a new crossbow and shoot a deer at 30 yards, that would suffice but I wanted something more so I started looking at this Raven R10 crossbow it is kind of like their quasi budget bow if you will I mean most of these bows their higher end ones are in the two thousands of dollars this one is low enough now where it's about thirteen hundred bucks and then a hard case was another 260 and I also have to show you the broadheads that I got with it so this is how I made the selection and I'm also going to tell you how I was able to pay for this as well here in just a few minutes. Okay, I have heard a lot about these Ravens, but they were just simply too expensive until recently. Um, so I started comparing them out and shout out here to Presley's Outdoors. They did a side-by-side -side comparison between the 10 point Stealth and this one that I ordered, the Raven R10. And as far as speed goes, the Raven was 10 feet per second faster, which is going to make a huge difference down the road. And then, of course, uh, I came across several of the Raven videos. So let's take a quick look at this one at 100 yards, 403 feet per second. Incredible downrange accuracy. We're going to take a couple hundred yard shots here. We'll show you what it's capable of. As you can see, you've got 100 yard accuracy out of the R9 from Raven Crossbows, available now. Okay, so I already know all the arguments are going to come in. Oh, you can't shoot a deer at 100 yards. You can't shoot one at 60 or 80 or even 50. Well, the arguments always used to be you couldn't shoot one past 20, then 30, then 40. There's different situations and, and most of the hunting that I do is sitting over food sources where the deer are plenty relaxed eating food you know kinda like this beautiful buck right here who gave me all the time in the world but aside from that let's talk about how I was able to pay for it because quite a lot of people are people say oh you just rich and you got all this money well that's not actually the truth I'm just trying to be smart with our money and I know how to leverage our money and get the things we want out of life. For example, we pay for everything on our rewards credit card. So as you see here, um, this is our Capital One, they pay 1.5% cash back. We pay everything, and I mean everything, on our credit card. So you could see right here. Right now, we have almost $1,300 in rewards, which is going to pay for most of this new crossbow. Um, but anything, loans, power bills, water bills, uh, shopping, gas, I mean every single thing that will accept the credit card. Some loans will and some won't, but everything is on auto pay on the credit card. A lot of people fear credit cards, but if you manage them and don't let them manage you, you can be getting a nice return by using credit cards wisely. And then secondly, we try to help people as much as we can. If you followed us here about a few months ago, I told you that we were refinancing our home. And if you have not refinanced your home lately, you probably should be looking into it because rates have come down substantially. So you see here, 
we got our, our return for one of the last mortgage payments we made. The bonus is when you refinance a home, you get a two-month window where you don't owe a mortgage payment. In addition to that, our mortgage payment actually went down $200 from here on out. So I will actually probably look at another refinance in six months, possibly a cash out, but maybe not. But either way, rates just dropped again yesterday. The Federal Reserve dropped a quarter point. So if you haven't refinanced your home, you really might want to look into that. And speaking of... Uh, new homes and making your money go farther you could see we have a pretty nice place we are out in a rural area and our new mortgage payment is twenty two hundred dollars a month you can't even get an apartment for that much one bedroom in new york or chicago or other areas and that's full financing people that's with a va loan with a hundred percent no down payment so anyways a little bit of information on the financing end which you're not going to hear from other people on YouTube but we do try to help people because so many people are missing out on living life because they're afraid of delving into smart financing so anyways stay tuned because I'm looking forward to that Raven R10 and I'm gonna make some cool videos and the video is getting too long now but the broadheads are really cool as well so stay tuned don't forget to hit the like button I'll catch you on the next go around capper out